Hey there, this is Transformers Fan G138. I'm here with a video review of Transformers Generations Goldfire, aka Goldbug. Now, two issues I have with the IDW verse and Goldfire. One, he's Bumblebee rebuilt, which, yeah, that's fine. Except they called him Goldfire. And. They're still referring to him as Bumblebee in the comic book. And the only reason he's Goldfire is that's the alloy they used on his faceplate. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, which is said in like one sentence and that's not even spoiling the in that's not even spoiling the comic book. Um No. Basically good gold bug figure. However, my second issue with it is they already have Goldbug in the uh, IDW universe, and he was in Metroplex's spotlight way back when. Oh, well, so the first thing you'll notice are these things. They're the same as Bumblebee's weapon. You take them off the car, they're jets, they're cannons, whatever. They clip together and form a gun. I do like the uh, glowy blue pieces versus the um, pale blue ones on Pumblebee, but I'm going to set that aside. I absolutely love the colors on this guy. It's gold plastic, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, my guess is this eventually will suffer from gold plastic syndrome. Uh, over time, the gold plastic breaks down because the metallic uh, pieces in it. Uh, and starts crumbling away. However, none of my other gold-colored plastic things have... I've never had issues with gold plastic syndrome, ever. Hopefully this will not be the first. Um, other than that, I know that's a large complaint on people is, oh, it's made of gold plastic. And I'm like, yeah, that's a plus and a minus, whatever. I rate it as a plus because I really dig gold plastic. Um, so if we look at the underside, you can see his Autobot insignia. Um, you can also see some of the paint issues here on the uh, underside of the car, where this uh, painted blue chest panel is. It's very... Uh... No, it didn't cover very well in on the edges. And then uh, some of the panel lines here. And the gold, you can tell, is the gold paint versus the plastic is different. However, you, unless you're looking at it through the camera, which I am right now, it's not bad at all. I mean, this is actually pretty good. Um, you know, I hated the Bumblebee version. Um, they could have painted the back windows. I would have been fine with that. But um, other than that... I really like the car mode. Um, and the separation of the spoiler here, it's way more noticeable on this one than Bumblebee. Bumblebee was just single molded plastic. This area was not painted. Um, he's got the red on black paint here. He's got the uh, side strips painted. And this looks more like Goldbug than Bumblebee looks like Bumblebee. If that makes sense. So... Onward to the transformation. Start by unclipping these doors. Some easier said than done. I mean, this is a solid car. I mean, seriously. I'm getting the window all smudged up here. There. So, get the door unpegged, possibly. Or not. So I'm going to start in the front. I'm going to pull these apart. And that kind of separates the front. Not the way I wanted to force these doors out, but. I mean, seriously, this is one solid car for him. I cannot get this out.
There we go. There. Okay, so there's the two side panel doors finally, finally unclipped. Next, we'll take the front of the car. We'll bring these down. Then we'll take the front of the car, bend it down, and up and over. This part will peg into, this peg here will peg into a slot right behind here. In a minute, because apparently it doesn't want to line up. So that comes on down, these legs come down, rotate into place rather easily. You bring the feet down. And you have the legs. Oh, the lighting in this position is really bad. Give me a second here. It's a little better, but now the uh, light is in my way. Alright, so those are the legs. Next, I will readjust my camera so you can see the top half of him. This just slides down, revealing his head. Then the official way to transform his arms or bring these up, collapse in, out, in and out, create these wings. I don't get why these wings are all important on every single transformer right now. Like, seriously. Like, half of them have these, like, door wings. Um, so that's the official way to transform him. Camera is picking up the glare and does not want to focus on his features. But here's his new face. It's not bad. I like it. Um, one thing you do have to watch out for, same as the Bumblebee Mold, if you put any pressure on the backpack, this chest plate likes to start sliding up again. Now, in this form, he's got articulation down in the ankles due to the transformation. Hinge and ball and socket joint. He's got a ratchet joint knee with this moving panel here that covers up the knee, and I think that's actually pretty creative. I like that. And the black, gold, and blue work really well. In the initial pictures, I thought it had too much blue and it wasn't going to work. But I'm glad to be proven wrong for once. Because that is good. And the lighting is horrible. I apologize for the poor lighting. I am not in my usual location. And now I can't get it to focus again. Anyway. He's got nice silver painted headlights here. Uh, the backpack is the least of my f favorite because it doesn't like stay out here. It constantly wants to collapse down, which gives him this weird thing sticking between his legs. So, um, to get rid of the wings, because literally I can't put anything behind him or next to him because it blocks way too much of it. I was playing around with the Bumblebee mold mod and bring these back out and rotate them down they become door guards for like the arms like you found on any of the older transformers like uh, Sideswipe for example had these and uh, Red Alert also uh, animation shooter from Transformers Super God Master Force and What's his name? Nightbeat had the, uh, using the same mold, had these, uh, this design where the arms kind of came out of the uh, doors. And this actually works really well for the uh, figure because he never really had the wings. And I like this better than the actual instruction mods. 
So this is how he is on my shelf. And uh, depending on how the new Nightbeat figure looks, I might repaint that into Shooter, or I actually just might take this guy and repaint him into Shooter and glue on a uh, siren on the top uh, and lights. And he's not complete without his ridiculously oversized gun, which is here. Uh, that is too much blue. I mean, he's got a lot of blue with this gun. If the gun was molded in the same color, gold plastic or black, it would be fine. But the gun is just a little overpowering in the uh, blue-purple category. So, that is my uh, transformation of this guy. It sets him aside a little bit from Bumblebee, which I actually have here at the next moment. Let me grab him for a quick comparison. And here's my least favorite figure I think I've bought in the last year. Versus one of my favorite. I mean, Goldbug, definitely a must-have on my list. And finally, an official somewhat sort of. Now I can't get this focus again. Ah, boy. It's driving me insane. Anyway, point is, Goldbug, Bumblebee, Goldbug better. Much, much better. This does not scream Bumblebee to me. It's not focusing. There, now it's focusing on Bumblebee. Um, let's see if we can get focus on Goldbug. There. Apparently they have to be directly in the center to focus. But, uh, yeah. Bumblebee, I hate. Goldbug, I like. I think I rank Bumblebee at a 6. I rank Goldbug at a 7. He's a 7 because the colors, in my opinion, work better. Bumblebee should have more black. And Goldbug, I rank at 7 because um, he still has the same flaws the Bumblebee mold does. Like uh, the backpack and this constantly wanting to rise. But overall, I like the figure better. This this guy does not shamefully go on my shelf. Let's put it that way. Very much like this guy. Uh, that's all for my video review. Um, 7 out of 10 for this guy. You've heard my reasons. Overbearing gun. Uh, flaws in the mold. Other than that, a little bit of paint issue on the chest plate. So that's how he earns a 7. Otherwise, he would have been an 8. Probably the paint job, if it was a little bit better, would push it to the 8. But overall, most of the paint apps are very solid. It's just the one here on his chest. Uh, other than that, I think that covers it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Check out my channel. Subscribe. Uh, hopefully be adding more reviews soon. Uh, if you have any requests, please post a comment down below. If you have any questions, also do the same. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you, and have a good whatever, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, where you are. Thanks for watching.